Let's see right now. Hi guys, welcome back. We are on to the second part of the trial. We are, I guess this is the beginning the after the intermission. And his killer is among this group of students. Now we're coming into this with the theory that it's the chef that's the killer. No, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe because I believe in it. So do your best. And don't forget to save regular. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it. That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another reason. Weapons why I the don't skewer. Think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? See? You see? He's all he's all suspicious. Based on what we've discussed, Yakuya was killed under the table. Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel lucky. Oh yeah, but none of them are covered in blood. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not talking about your look. Okay. I see. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nakito have any blood stains on him? Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood my girl. splattered everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, Strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? So condescending. Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Yes, there's one only one thing that he could have used. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found. If there are bloodstains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. Yeah, but how would he have gotten, like, gotten it to the storage room? And that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen it? No, because we know what happened. The chef went under the floorboards. I was going to say through the bathroom, but the girl was in the bathroom. Somehow he found a way to get under the floorboards from the kitchen, went to, uh, went to the area and stabbed up through the wood. That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, Getting a knife in a blackout and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. But under the floorboards under the table. <laughs> no, there's no mistake that the murder occurred. The only thing is how table. would he have known that Yakuya would have been under the table to stab him. You know what I mean? Oh! Oh! He saw the glow! He saw the glow through the floorboards! That's how. Sorry. But that doesn't mean that Yakuya got stabbed and where the killers did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! The place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. Uh -huh. you? you look like you're on to something. Really? It sounds like a riddle. See how worried he is? I feel like I'm on to something, but I'm still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. 
if it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Shaki is our Kyoko, isn't she? Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions yep. and just choose the answer. I think. Oh, Hangman's Gambit. That's right. Thule warned me about this. I have to, like, um... Collect the letters or something together. Yeah. The place B Q you got stabbed and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my preconceptions to try to think about it. Something something is coming to me. Just a little bit more. I have a feeling I can see something. Okay. Alright. See if I can understand this. Okay, so I could take two of these. Oh, but I don't know what they're they want me to do. If I click that, it gets rid of it. Then if yeah. Is it under? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then I get rid of it. I need these. Oh, wow. This this isn't bad at all. Oh, never mind. I take back everything I just said. What if I just let them keep going? Like, if these hit. Okay, so when they hit... Okay, I think I got this. Alright, cool! Tuli, you made that seem scary! That was actually... I think I like that more than the last game's version of Hangman's. Gambit. The must have stabbed Yakia from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? Like that. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. Where? How? That's what I don't know. I don't know that yet, but... I have a feeling that someone here who does it. Yes! Yes, I know who. Uh, Gundam. Gundam, because he got his earring. You. You're the only one! Got it, like, hey, comfortable here. You dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Referring to the Hellhound Earring? About that ear. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? About that Hellhound Earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard. Ah, there it is. I have found it, truly. That is the Hellhound Earring. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see, good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Alright, but how? It's safe to say that. That earring is the one hanging from your right ear, huh? Could you be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> 
It's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. True, this is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. I think this is the one time I agree with her. Oh, man up and speak more clearly. Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. There's an entrance One of in my the four storage dark room. Of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. There's a secret the passage of doom are. leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the hellhound earring with my own two hands. <laughs> Interesting. Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous! You're just a breeder! Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. And that's where, yep, that's where the if kitchen the is. beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. So then there's... There's two things we have to figure out, right? One, why did Terra Terra do what he did? Like, why did he, because he, he doesn't seem like the type, at least yet, to just kill somebody else and sacrifice them all just to get off the island. Like, we needed a major motivator in the first game, you know, for the killings to start happening. So, why would he do it? And... How, like... The next question was, did he kill... How would he have known? Right? Here. Yeah. How would he have known... That... What's his name? The Akuya would have been under the table. Like, I know he would have seen the light in the dark, but how would he have known that the lights were going to go out and that's your opportunity to do it? So, those are the two big glaring questions I still have. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... No, I'm not talking I like about her. your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Yeah, you. Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboard. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but... I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness. Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! No, call yourself Usami. I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further. But... I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. So who's he gonna try to pin it on? Um... The only person who wasn't at the party... Well, it's not the, the photo I took before the black there he's all right they're gonna try to pin it on the yakuza but it can't be him because Shaki saw him it obviously has to be him and there's no way to get under the floorboards without going inside the building yay it's decided what the, what the fuck are you saying I'm not the killer yeah oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Just because he can do it doesn't mean he did it. Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get excited! Silence, sir. Okay.
is gonna be Shockey's account. During the party, the killer was lurking oh. under the floor like a cockroach. I didn't mean to play. And he could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Yeah, um, got it. Oh, you're right. Well, what happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, oh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone at a place like this. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. <laughs> How diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the It doesn't the first matter, place? it gives him an alibi. Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. Nope. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow! He got chewed out, but he was super happy! Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well... If someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict with... That's true. Eggs. You can put, like, your hand against the wall and, like, feel. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. I have to say, Hajime... Like, in comparison to Bakoto, he he is a lot smarter. And I also like that he's much more cynical, too. It was too. super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again. Here's, we're getting close to the final stage. Like, I feel like Hajime doesn't even need a Kyoko. The blackened or the spotless? Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. What would it be? Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Well, let me check something. I wonder if... Does a portable stove need to be plugged? No, because it's portable. Pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go. Alright, I think I know what it is. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? Because he could have put the like flame the on from the stove, Maybe like the portable stove, and that would have been a light. Pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? There we go. I agree with that. Yes. I love when I get things right. I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See. It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. Is it? Is it what I think it is? Yes. Okay, cool. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, 
The killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. I damn it, Nikito. A hole? What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Dude, you're about to be executed. Do you really want, like, the end, the last moments of your life to be this? Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? Oh, is this the argument thing? No, that's wrong. <gasps> oh, he said no, that's wrong, like, <laughs> in the first game. Oh, damn it. There's no way I'm going to lose against someone like him. Gosh, you guys are going to be besties by the end of this. The only two survivors. Oh. What should it be? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. Uh... The light from the stove that you mentioned. I got it. It contradicts his testimony. I got Are it. You intentionally doubting his testimony. This is diagonal. To me, the portable stove was used as a light store. It contradicts. I don't think Kazuichi said is wrong. I guess now I should offer a Did rebuttal. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. I got it. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Ooh. I can't okay. back down! I suck at the clicking thing. I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the up was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... Oh, I clicked the wrong button! Damn Kazuichi it! Oh, have I have it? another chance! Allow me to cut through those words. Awesome. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? So, in other words, he closed the the fire doors so that it was completely blocked off. Nobody would have seen the light. Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hall plus. The hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Pretty smart of the chef, actually. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate. Oh. You still don't remember your talent, do you? Does he know our talent? Now who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. Thank you, Pico, you for stepping so in. You scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey! It's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. Why would More it offend importantly, people? can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get full. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? No. If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. Now, he says you ultimate. So that kind of goes back with my theory before. But he said he's the ultimate lucky student. But I still feel like he's a despair person. <laughs> so you're telling me to call out the real killer. Even though I really don't want to condemn that person. But, well, he's still a murderer. There's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Biakuya to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So the only killer I can think of is... The Chef. Like 
dizzy for a second. Terry Terror. You're the only one. Terry Terror. Could it be you? Yes, what? it is. What? what are you talking about? Terry Terror is the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way. Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak free. Don't offer him objection that. Objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? I mean, it's a lot that's more reasons than reason that. you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. Ah, uh, you're terrible. That attitude is so not like you for the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me shit. <laughs> if you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? Is that why he did it? He wants the... The future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You... You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. Yeah. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Yeah. It's dark under the floorboards. Uh uh. Too. I already figured that so out. How would they be able to stab Biaku? The glow paint. You're not going to say they shined the light on Biaku, you right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. We got this. That's right. What do you think about that? That's hey. It. There's no way you can answer, right? personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboard. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The Doesn't only matter. thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness. The Near paint! Yakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! Hey. If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark? Yeah. They have the paint? Uh... Is it the knife? Particularly? with this. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the nut. Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Yeah, that is true. Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Really, <sighs> I don't know anything at all. Could Nagito have told... Could Nagito have told him, like, what to do? Did he manipulate him into doing it? Like this whole thing was set up by him? Can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Yeah, did he tell him, like, where to be and stuff like that? If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he boot you here during the blackout? Oh, that's what right. He what heard, the hell? What's going on She here? heard him say... Oh, what did he say? It was like, um... I thought the blackout was still in the kitchen. Was just in the kitchen, right? This is yeah, but... But he could have screamed it through the floorboards. You know what I mean? Ow. Turn the damn lights on. He was there. It's just that he was under this, them. You, know? you guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Yeah. He was under them. She heard Terry Terry's 
force in the diamond. Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? No. That's right. That's exactly it. But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Except the fire door was closed. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by looking at I guess I'll let you one if you want. You should try and look. No way! You look greasy. That's right. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? I don't want to blame you. You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope. I actually really enjoy his character. Having this guy around, he's, he's such a nut job. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. No, okay, it's not that one. I went too soon. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the store? There's no way I, I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Oh. Maybe it was a recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Is that it? Okay, that, that was it. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voice of... But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you I was in that damn dining hall during the blackout. What? Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your haze and memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. Sonya, just believe me. No! Is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Right, yeah, don't be sad. Things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Probably can. Ooh, Hajime. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 you again. Damn right. Whether or not Terra Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. That question. No. Do I have to do the pose? 
because he wouldn't have been able to see what happened. I can prove it with Oh, this. wait. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall, then you should know how Mikan was. Yeah. The time. Oh man, I love how all these random like um truth bullets all kind of like they seemed they were seemingly random, but they all came together and are telling a good story. What? For me, God. No, this is a very important question. Well, Toe Town, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? huh? Um. It was a pretty clever oh way God. of tripping. There's no way you'd forget Fuck. about it so easily. <laughs> Yeah, mind. not from your mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so, <laughs> Nagito, say something. I guess you might have to give up now. Oh, Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire. I'm telling you, he. He convinced him to do it. Like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No, 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 no. no. Hmm. The mother woman hasn't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. Aww. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Weapon, huh? Yeah, it's not the knife, right? No, it's the skewer. Judging from Jackie's wound, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? I do. Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. See, she is. She's our Kyoko, because she plays video games. What a do it! What a do it! She plays detective game. Um, he said, try to do it. What a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edge tool. It's, it's the skewer. Oh, okay, we're doing this again. Uh, but I don't know what the first word would be. Okay. I actually, I, I do. I like this. This is, it's, well, so far it's only the first one, the but it's not bad. It's not skewer. hard. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? <gasps> In the food. Uh, uh, Avril Levine. Avril Levine? Avril Levine? <laughs> huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. It's in the food. Island sirens? Just for litter? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means... He obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight. Oh. Oh. 
Finally, we're nearing the end. Soul shields. What the hell you even say? You do because of it? He said, um. I know what he said. We have no choice but to somehow find out for us. The iron skewer is the weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip it by. But Biakuya and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started, which means, was the weapon already hidden somewhere we couldn't find? It's in, the, it's in the meat! Right there, that's where it is. In an unexpected place, the food. Where would that be? Think carefully. Okay. Must reveal to Terra Terra the conclusive evidence that he proves he's the killer. Alright, here we are. It's the end. But it's different. Okay. Shut up. That's impossible. I suck at rhythm games. Oh, I suck at rhythm games. Shut up. Oh god. I'm all off. Nonsense. Unforgivable. Oh, I suck at this. Uh, on the meat bone? No? On the bone meat? On bean meat on the bone? No, I suck. Oh, uh, would the weapon me be? on the bone. This is the end. Okay, that was it. Oh my eye. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? Oh, something's in my eye. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Something got in my eye and I had to handle it. Alright, where were we? Uh, it's hidden in the meat. That's where we left off. There's no way I'd hide in again. In a place like that? <laughs> that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Yeah, that means you're all kind of cannibals. It's like, taste of the blood. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. It seems there's no dangerous items, like the skewer in the Carrasco earlier. Carrasco. Uh, inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew. I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm That's using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty-looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside... All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. No, it's minute. got the Akiya's I'll blood. The whole thing. Wait, now, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh, about that. Where did Monokuma go? Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here! Did he bring the meat? Oh, he's, he's eating the meat. I'm already eating it! Oh, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now yeah. that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This 
This is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Oh. Look what came out. Oh, it's shit. It's got a bone. Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not yes, the you are. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. Jeez. What a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> I love her. You're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth, fast food eating hits. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove Terra Terra's crime. That's right, if we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. Okay, cool. So you do still get to do the comic book. Okay, so it's different. You don't get all of them, apparently. Uh... Okay. Oh! Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's try that wasn't bad. The incident, beginning with right after the party started. Okay, here we go. Yakuya had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall. And but at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly kept the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for these. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. I do like the but art style. Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision gun. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. Yeah, but I think Nagito told him what to do. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan. So they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, 
The killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. But why would he do it still? I don't understand. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. I mean, he jumped to murder quick. In the, in the last game, the days went by. The preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. And they needed the, um, the motive. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakia found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed. He oh, had to retrieve it. that knife. And at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. Oh, Byakia. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Oh. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? I always love when the killer turns into who the actual killer That's is. What happened? How about it? Did I get anything wrong? This is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> well, now you're going to get executed. All right, what are we banking on? I'm saying he's going to get uh, cooked alive. A beat. Could have done better, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops! I lost control of my wild yeah. side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Okay. That's right! This time, the black and responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Ter Teru Teru Hanamura! Are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying a ponce like him is the one that killed Byakuya? But, but... Why? Why did you kill him? You, you've got it it was a mistake! I'm telling you, it was just a mistake! I was only trying to save you guys! Hey! I was only trying to stop Nikito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I, I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and, and then... 
I heard weird laughter come to the dining hall, and when I peeked over there... I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he brought in from the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning all by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When, when that, that happened, happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught? What? I've been caught? Hey. What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. <laughs> Teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless if you try to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I'll never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the day beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just- Yeah, but- But why didn't you just tell everybody else and have him, like, sequestered or something? Keep him in, like, a spot where he can't kill anyone. By killing him, to stop him from killing other people, you're killing them because- they do know that rule, right? That they'll all die if they don't guess it correctly? Hold on. I see. So that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just wanted the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be a good use to them. I love all the Ultimates, and I admire their being symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why... <laughs> I don't want to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose. No matter how daunting the despair they may face may be. So he is, he's like the exact opposite of, um... Junko. I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? See, isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you'll become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger you despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. That's right. I've yearned for the power of ho powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? are, are you kidding? Don't tell me you're actually serious. Man. So you don't understand? That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just an obsessed fanboy. So it's all right that it's that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate ultimate fanfic fanatic. No way, no way. You, there's something wrong with you. Really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? No. Nagito, what's the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about this story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that. What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killing are simply a tragedy, but for worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? S stop it! You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as killing for fun, but I guess I'd it looked the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terry Terry discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. See? See? I think he set him up. Huh? So... Nagita wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. 
Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teru Teru? You expected to pique Teru Teru's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complicated. Well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous for you to fall, so don't get too close. <laughs> this dude, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. Th that's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know? Yeah, but by doing so, you were going to sacrifice everybody else. However... But why? Why did you kill Biakuya instead? <laughs> I, I didn't know. Because Nikita was the one who was supposed to take the knife. That's why I aimed and thrust at the iron skewer there. <laughs> but why is Biakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nikita, not him. Biakuya probably tried to stop Nikita from grabbing the knife. And then in place of Nikita... Nope. No, I don't think that's it, no? Huh? Perhaps... Biakuya was probably trying to protect Nikita? What? What did you say? See? Because Biakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much I promise. <gasps> Could it be in order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So, so Biakuya gave his life to protect Nagito, even though he was trying to take the knife? That's not like Biakuya. <laughs> I see. Biakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he's actually threw his own life away. And yet, I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. Oh. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. Could it be? You knew Biakuya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not, I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my, for my fun later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected to turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Well, why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. And if he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but ended up killing Biakuya instead, you know? If I let him left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation, isn't that right, Teru Teru? In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You'll not die in vain. Great. You'll become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else, so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! The sacrifice? Shut up! Shut Seriously, up. stop it already! I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. Hey, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just freaking kiss kill him off? Yeah! Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. <laughs> but the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito, but it's Teru Teru. What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the blacking killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. That no, was, no, no, no. how should I put it, an accident, um, an act of self-defense. No, uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's impossible. It's not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. 
okay. But, but, isn't there anything like sympathy judgments, uh, extenuating circumstances, or even probation? Impossible. I don't accept any of those claims. That's, That's not... <laughs> hey, save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nikito, so... Why? Be honest, you were lear learning about Nikito's plan. You saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after missing... Messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong. You, you're wrong, I... Hmm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <laughs> He's got a point, because he knew that the rest of them would die. <sighs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito. Nagi, Nagito? I don't know how to pronounce these names. And willing to sacrifice everyone else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. That is... Teru Teru! Why? If only you didn't kill Nagito, the Akuya would still be alive. Why did you commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru! <laughs> I just... I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! Why? Because she's waiting for me. Who's she? Aw, Mama is waiting for me at home. I hope she's not sick or something. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope Speak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? Oh, this is sad now. So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? Oh, jeez. I'll be fine. Moms are strong. Well, but if if the if the events of the first game took place, she's probably dead. I won't lose to some illness. Ah, oh, she is sick. <laughs> I know that already. But I know that already. Oh, this is sad. I I promise. I promised her I'd become a full fledged cook and save the Han Hanamura Diner. Mama is gonna is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and all alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! <sighs> <It's a> teru Teru! <laughs> but, but, if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years had passed, exactly, since our first day, hey. what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? <gasps> so you believed what Monokuma said? Damn it! You were all saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong. I, I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It, it has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home. I wanted to go home and confirm. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Teru, Teru, you... I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. That's not... It's not that Terra Terra didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he be believed it. He needed to deny it. Damn it, if only I knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I wanted to confirm by any ne means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard of Nagido's plan. And I found out he was going to kill someone if I left him alone. That's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you. The unfortunate thing is, he would have sacrificed all of us, though. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it, it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Biakuya instead of Nagito. I mean, he would have died anyway, though. Because he would have been killed by you winning. Ah, I see. I think I'm the one who went who crazy. Went crazy. That is pretty sad. Teru Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but... As far as motives to kill are concerned, and wanting to see your mom is boring. So... 
It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and get to the punishment. You can't! Please, get out of my way! Stop punching Usami! Ugh. Well now. There. Now that annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Wait. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least now then, I prepared, prepared a, a very special punishment. Hey. Call me ship. No, wait. That's not what I. Please. Please, please just at least. What happened to the Hammer Hanamura Diner? To Mama? Let's give it everything we've got. I mean, you could at least tell him that before you kill him. Lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it! Mama! That's sad. And again, maybe he's better not knowing that the whole world was destroyed. Fancy. This is different. Oh. So, how are they gonna kill him? Are they gonna cook him? Oh. Are the killings not related, like the, the last game? Oh, wait, it looks like he's covered in butter. They car and feathered him? Oh no! No, they, they breaded him, they're gonna fry him. Ooh, ow. Oh, goodbye, Taru Taru. I don't think lava works like that. Well, that's it. He got... He got fried. Extreme! Now what? The adrenaline's rushing through me. It's a Teru Teru. Damn it. Are you fucking kidding? Serious right now? Oh, he didn't even say that. How cruel. Why did you do something so cruel? Wah -wah? Huh? Did you learn? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? The, you're the one who drove him to it. So cruel. This is just so cruel. Nice. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules. This is the killing rule, after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Hmm? I can't let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? What's this? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. Figured it out yet? That's right, you have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you? That's right, so you should have told him. You better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and murder for your memories. Why didn't you tell Teru Teru about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. Of course. I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> is the story different? Like, because this is clearly an alternate universe because you have Byakuya. But like, how's it? Like, is the outside still destroyed? 
I must excuse myself. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so That's not cool. fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma has this wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid. Terry, Terry, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate to inspire hope in your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit. I'll kill ya. <laughs> Please, kill me any time. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big a deal. If you're students of Hope Speak Academy, if you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys if all, at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey. Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you guys think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to this live. Is exciting. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you one after another. <laughs> just kidding. Piss me off. Can I punch ya? I just won't be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Even Hajime hates me now? That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope Speak Academy just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself, we don't know anything about each other's true natures. <laughs> no, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, Ram. <gasps> he is, he's a despair guy. Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do. Wait. H hold on. Please, Please stop. stop. Stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is, do our best. You see. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then, we shall all work together and do our best, do our best, so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like? But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. I don't get you at all. You some kind of moron. Well? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we're not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend! I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, power, body, and soul, and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it, and we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trier, trial, where Biakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. 
After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. They looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even in my daily, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's what had happened. As I stared up at the sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? What is happening? Nineteen days left. We still don't know what that's about. Is it all gonna explode? Are they all gonna be released? Oh, that's the end of chapter one. Fourteen students left. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the wooden stick. Alright, guys. We're gonna end it there. Wow. This was... This was an interesting trial. I feel like all my thoughts at the start of the trial <laughs> just... Everything, uh, I don't even know. I mean, Nagito's is insane. <laughs> and Teru Teru, I feel bad, but he was willing to sacrifice us. I'm excited for the next one, the next episode. Um, I don't know where it's going to take us from here. I mean, Nagito could be a catalyst for somebody murdering someone again. But they've already done that once. So Monoku is going to have to come up with more motivations. Because I don't think these guys want to kill each other, you know? I don't know. But if you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!